Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Some of you have been fighting to hold on. There are parasites. Let me explain to you. We've all been told that a pearl is formed by a, a piece of sand getting into the mouth of an oyster. When in actuality, more than likely, it's a parasite. A parasite is something that sucks off this host. How many of y'all been sucked off by men and women and family? You get sucked off all the time. People drawing from you. After a while, you get irritated. After a while, you get tired. You say, I'm tired of this stuff. And then you begin to pray. Some of y'all came out of relationships just like I did. But the enemy is trying to draw you back. You've been spinning on that thing in prayer. You've been spinning on that thing in fasting. You've been spinning on that thing getting that irritant out. You've been thinking in your mind, I want him out. He got some. Draw some of y'all back. What fruit do you have? The Lord even told me there's some people in here who has come out of some religion that you know is wrong. Santeria, praying to saints, doing the rosary, lighting these candles, all that mess. And you done went back to what God has pulled you out of. I'm not scared. Glory, hallelujah. So that y'all done went back to come. And jealousy, you had another woman just because she walked in a room. See, the Lord has set you free at one time. You could have cared less what was happening in the church. You was on your feet. You was in prayer. You was worried. You was fasting. And somehow a parasite came and sucked the life out of you. So we y'all better kick that parasite. Hallelujah. Kick them out now. Jesus. The enemy has some of you wondering, is it okay and will I be okay if I get into a, a same-sex relationship? Should, should I tell anybody? I'm here to tell you right now, baby, that's a parasite that's trying to suck you dry. That's a yeah. parasite that's trying to kill you. If you don't understand that the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to you right now, I don't know what else to tell you. Because this ain't even my notes. If you don't kill it, it's going to kill you. Hallelujah. Parasites are meant to do nothing but destroy. Mm -hmm. They take over their host and suck the life out of it. Until their host is dead and then they find another one. How many of you are tired of feeling yeah. dead? She talked about demons, and a lot of people want to fake like demons ain't real. But why you faking they kicking your tail? Why you faking they destroying your house? And why you faking they messing up your mind? And why you faking they taking out your children? And why you faking they jacking up your health? And why you faking like if I don't look at them, they won't look at me? They gonna shut you down. Jesus. Well, somebody better say, but I'm a pearl. But I'm a pearl. I'm gonna help you understand something about a pearl. The Bible declares, he says, that we don't give what is holy. This is a thing scripture right. to the dogs. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Neither cast ye your pearls before what? Why? Why? Lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. I'm talking to a lot of women today because yes. of this comment, but I want to talk to men too. Let me tell you something. You have been casting your prayers on a man that won't change. I don't care how much you keep changing. I mean, keep praying. He's not moving. He's not going to stop doing what he's doing. He's going to keep on going back to that other woman. He's going to keep laying on your couch. He's going to keep eating your food. He's going to keep playing your games. He's going to drive your car while you at work. And he's going to suck the life out of you. So why are you turning back to what God freed you from? Jesus. I'm telling some of y'all men in here that some of them want to come at you and some of them are preachers and pastors. I ain't never afraid. And they're coming after y'all and they saying, man of God, play this 
instrument for me. All the while they want to walk you to the back room to play another instrument. I'm trying to tell you uh, that you are worth more than a backroom study, baby. Yeah. Oh, Lord, he, he doing good, Jesus. He ain't even trying to get none, Lord. 
Yeah. Now I know where the all getting set up. Serena. Yeah. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh. The one day the little kissing turned more into petting. <laughs> then y'all know how you're on, I'm saying, oh, oh, oh. No, you gotta go. And so you feel very, real victorious when he leaves. <laughs> Until the next time he comes over and Victoria's Secret come on. <laughs> We slipped. Now we you shaved your legs. Now we a top and bottom match. Kids are here. I'm gonna say this. Now we you mow the lawn. Now we you grease up your legs. No, 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 no. You ain't slipped nowhere, baby. You set that up. Y'all like love that auntie? I am not. I don't know where my laces match. Oh.
because he put me back on the bed and I said, no. I said, I can't. And he said, what? And his eyes turned black. I don't know if y'all ever seen that before, but he was just black. He said, what? You ain't going to do what? And I said, I gave my life back to Christ. I said, I can't do this. And I said, I'm sorry. I said, I told you in the beginning that I didn't believe in sex before marriage. And I said, I should have stuck with it. And something strange happened. I know it was the Holy Ghost, because he was only like, I, I love him. We was in the last night, so she don't feel weird. <laughs> but he was like this. But then he stood back. So I stood up, stand up, baby girl. I don't know where I got the courage, because inside I was shaking. And I stood back, he stepped back again, and I came forward. Ooh. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, this is strange, because he should be on me. And the more he stepped back, the more I came forward. So now I start getting power. Some of y'all better understand that when you stand up to the devil, and he realizes you who you are, that you're going to start stepping back. Yeah. 
Amen. Because uh, my training was too intense, baby. The pressure was too intense. When I was on the fast, you wasn't faster with me. When I had to turn around that food, that cake, that TV, that Facebook, Amen. so I could get closer to God, baby, you wasn't faster with me. This training costs too much. Amen. Yes, 
Hallelujah. You've been abiding yes. under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord. You've been saying, God, I know I can go back and do this, but I am determined I'm staying here. Thank you, Jesus. God, I know that my flesh is calling me back, but I'm determined I'm going to yes. stay here. God, I know I can call him, I can pull them, but I'm staying right here. And Uh-huh. I'm 
going where the Lord tell me to go, then I'm going to sit down. Y'all are so powerful in this place. I need for everybody here to look at yourself like this. Do a mirror like this. Everybody in this place, I'm trying to show y'all what prophetic gestures are. Prophetic gestures get you moving in the realm of the spirit. Baby, even if your neighbor don't do it, you do it. Because they can tell you about this. The Lord tell me to do something prophetically. Everybody who listens, I'll shift that quick. Because I'm cold. It's because something he wants done. You look at yourself. And you say, in Christ, I am cold blood. In Christ, I am a pearl. I'm not hard, but I am strong. And I will do what he called me to do by his might. Somebody say, in Jesus' name. Now put an amen on it and shout.